Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hopsasty, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft without mining. In the last few episodes, we have been really busy with this massive 2x2 two two tree farm there in the back. And now it's finally time to deal with our storage situation sorting system because by now there are chests everywhere so that needs to be sorted out but as with the uh, farm there we will do that over uh, multiple episodes and today we will just start and a few episodes back um, we looked at uh, several designs ideas what to do I was a bit undecisive but now I know what to do basically also thanks to a new version of the item categorizer by uh, Misuma games uh, which just added a bulk storage and improved the performance a bit so I think that's the way to go. So in today's episode, we will just uh, put up the input system and the bulk storage and everything else will come on later. So let's get started. So what I have put in here is a bit of a platform uh, of which I can work on. And basically this is the lowest layer of uh, our storage sorting system and some of the blocks will be replaced by uh, actual parts of the farm. But I think somewhere in this area where we have this scaffolding uh, we will have the actual entrance into our farm then on this side I think will be the input on that side will be the bulk storage which I will have to think carefully which blocks go in there because there are not that many slots for bulk storage but I think uh, cobblestone is definitely one then maybe also the smelted stone uh, perhaps even the uh, this one in in block form uh, sand maybe gra uh, glass uh, we will we will see uh, I should get a clear picture once I have uh, all the all the uh, chests placed so I know how many many uh, items. I can assign to bulk storage maybe even iron yeah let's think about that when I get there here on this side I have placed the bulk storage and at least in some of the chests we should already find a few items uh, because I have set the filters and the thing is the items are stored in item form but if need be we can basically extend downward uh, sucking the items out uh, have a shulk loaded down there and then maybe here in front have some more chests where the filled shulker boxes are uh, placed in. Here on top, uh, that's basically the age-old uh, item sorter designed by Impulse SV. I did not even remember that uh, that was his design. Uh, he used it so often, um, but yeah and here we can see that's basically a, um, a protection for uh, unstackable items not sure how that i mean i can see how that works up here 
uh, with uh, uh, if we get an unstackable uh, through here um, this will be powered and then we will have power down here uh, going down but then here basically everything ends up in that uh, in that barrel which is moved outwards and not into uh, the uh, first slice of uh, chests here. I think this is a uh, leftover uh, from the original design uh, because in the final product, we will have another wall of chests there, another wall of chests there and a fourth wall of chests there and there at the end we will sort out the unstackable items so basically we don't need it uh, here right um then here on this side i already started a bit with the uh, uh, lowest uh, level uh, in here that will where we have the input system uh, where we place all the items that we want to sort and we can also fill in shulker boxes so we need a shulker unloader then everything is getting sent up and over and connects to there I also completed the other side and the decorations are still a bit rough while I am going for a very industrial look, maybe this is a bit too much, especially as here and there we will need some stairs or half slabs so um, these smooth stone will not work as such. Then here that's our input chest, uh, this will be our chest where we end up with uh, all the empty shulker boxes and then they are sucked out back here go around and then maybe we can see it from up here yeah then they go up this uh, tower elevator and then um, Oh, yeah, if I jump, you can see there is a shulker box. That's the filter because if it's single items, they go into the shulker box and end up in this hopper line going over that way. If it is a shulker box, cannot be placed in a shulker box, it goes down here and through. Uh, this thing here and then will be placed here uh, where we basically empty out the shulker box and the items that are sucked out go over there and end up in the same hopper line that again goes up and this time items go through and once the shulker box is empty gets broken and ends up in this chest here. I have been testing this a bit and we have a slight issue because uh, all my test item end up in this hopper uh, in the first column here uh, but as uh, mentioned in the last segment, uh, this first column is for unstackable items which is not connected and in the end we will have another place for unstackables. So I think we can actually reuse this, get rid of the uh, unstackable feature and have just another slice uh, for bulk storage. So I will do that and then I can run another test. 
that first slice there changed it is now working properly although i have not yet set the filter to accept any items because i'm not sure what i want to have in there one candidate would be copper for which we will still need to build a form and the other would be shulker shells for which we will also need to build a form so this first slice uh, stays empty for now but i did run another test with a shulker box full of cobble as you can see everything arrived and the empty shulker box is in here so if we put in some more items that we have in there um, also this box of sand and then also something that's not in there uh, let's do it this way um, then the half slabs should end up in this temporary chest up there um, everything else should find a slot somewhere in here um, yes basically that's it for this first part uh, in the rain and um, we will definitely continue uh, this project with the next side over there uh, maybe we will do the, the side over there and the opposite uh, wall together because they have the same principle and only the last one will be a bit different because on there we have to deal with unsortable items so items that have no chest to go into the basically overflow and unstackables so that's a bit different then but for now that's all hope you enjoyed it and uh, i will see you soon hopefully not in the rain till then goodbye